Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. We are here again with our tribe that is just about ready to migrate. Now I do want to point something out before we begin. Um, I just loaded up the game and as you'll see it says early access version 0.1.5 on it now. And when I went to load this game, it actually gave me a warning message saying that new content has been added and if I want to enjoy it, I need to start a new game. So I'm not sure if that's just a bug and if there's nothing new from 0.1.4 except for bug fixes that will appear in this or if we may have to restart our game. So hopefully we won't lose this tribe. It still let me load the game and everything. We're here and everything seems okay. But I will be talking to the devs about that just to make sure everything is a-okay. Um, I'm kind of hoping we don't have to start a new game because I like how this one is going. But if we do, that it, that's okay. It's all part of the early testing and, and we'll, I look forward to seeing what new features may be here in 0.1.5. But for now, we're going to keep going with this tribe and try to at least get them ready to migrate. If not, actually migrate them to the new island that is over this way. So basically what that entails is a bunch of selective breeding. And if you'll recall, we marked all the creatures that have traits that we want to pass on with these blue gems on their chest and the ones that we don't with the orange and the ones that ha are fairly neutral with green. So what we want is to get a lot of these creatures that we do want to pass on that have these blue and that we do want their, to pass their genes on that have the blue stones to be the ones that we bring to this new island. And we have quite a bit of food, but in, in the new islands, um, having a lot of food is quite important. So our secondary goal will be to gather a, even more food than we have already. And possibly to get rid of this carnivore, because he's kind of stalking around, coming after our creatures. So, um, and some people said that there was a bug with the carnivores in the new update, but I haven't, I haven't seen, it doesn't seem like we're getting that here. And so that may be just in the, um, in worlds created in this update, but I don't know. But if we run across that bug, we'll just deal with it as we come to it. And, oh, we have a bunny here we can grab. <laughs> so and it, it shouldn't be a big deal. But anyway, let's get going. Let's finish up gathering some food here before we start doing our breeding again all right and we got everything i think it looks like we got everything taken care of for this turn it gets kind of hard to keep track of everybody when you have too many uh oh i hear creatures dying and oh okay um medium ears normal eyes big nose antlers which is good, a good trait normal body so her genetics are fairly neutral i'd say what about this little baby here? Kirkir. Um, does have the big body, which makes him a good candidate for coming over. And as you'll see, the ones that are over here are still fairly young. So this guy will probably come with them. Gonna gather some food. And why don't I actually bring you down here? Um, so you can help with the gathering. And then our little baby will... Oops, that's mom. <laughs> our little baby can move out of the nest. And um, this baby... Uh-oh, this baby got the blind eyes, which is not good. And this baby is one we really don't want to be working with. Um, so let's try... Where's our male? Our male died. Okay, that's what happened. Um, Nukirvan... Uh, again, not the greatest genetics. Something that we can work with. Is Rana. So G and A, H and G. Let's go ahead and try breeding these guys and just see what happens, even though they are somewhat related. And we'll also, I'm going to bring him over here and we'll try breeding with her, A and H. And oh, we can get this bunny here. And let's go after this carnivore. And we have a little baby with orange eyes. And this one, oh, this one had really good genetics too. So this one will be one, Rila, 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 <laughs> will be one that we bring with us. So I'm going to start moving her this way. Gather some more berries. We should breed someone over here. Larame, also very good genetics. So another one we'll want to bring with us. 
And I'm gonna move her over here. Oh. You can gather these and shake the tree. And oh. then you can help gather these as well. Oh. And more food over here. Oh. And Mila. Oh. And let's go ahead and breed these guys even though they have somewhat similar genetics. Um, we do want to try and have diverse um, immunity genes here. So A and H, A and B, D and H. So we have at least three different genes there. And the goal is just to be able, you actually can survive pretty well, even with only, um, even with only two genes, because not all of them usually end up having um, the same the same genes, but it's generally better to try and get multiple genes if possible. And oh, we need somebody up here by this bush. And I'll move someone over here. Oh, of course, the bunnies come now. Um, and we have one more nest here. So let's see. B and A. And do we have a good female? I don't think we have a very good female right now another one so they've all used up their moves we should have bred with Sime here perhaps we can maybe do that next time Growling. those two are sick Aw. B and A B and A let's go ahead and try it anyway and just see how this goes and we can gather and you have grown up I think they age faster on the other islands too. I, it seems like that, or maybe it just gets a lot more intense and everything feels faster. Um, so let's look at our baby. Baby has decent genetics. She has, Yzme has blind eye, blind eyes, yes. So I think, so does she though. I think we'd probably rather breed with her how is this little baby Isra? Um, not the greatest genetics. So, probably won't bring her. And we had a baby over here that we wanted to bring. Was it this guy? This guy had this guy had good genetics. So we were gonna bring him Kirk here. So we're gonna start moving him this way. And let's look at our new little one, Isiko. Has the claw, big body, and yeah, okay, pretty strong. Claw paw, I'm not so keen on because it's so specialized, but it's still, um, it's still pretty useful. So I'm going to bring this guy over here because B and H, A and H, they have some similar genes, but they're not totally similar. You can grab that. And let's make sure we did gather the berries. You can gather that acorn. And let's take a look at this little baby. Um, okay, pretty good genetics. Kirk here. So, we sh could probably bring him. And... And that bunny. Oh, but there's a bunny here we can get. And I want to see if that bunny will come any closer. The bunny's just lingering around by the carnivore. I want, oh, here's a bunny that we can get. I'm hoping some of these bunnies will come closer because the more food we have going to the new island, the better. And, okay. So that one, this one is blind. East lies. Um, let's bring her over here and she can help out collecting berries. Oh, and this little guy can get this bunny. And we've got the carnivore, can collect the berry. Here we go. And this guy we decided we wanted to bring, so I'm going to start moving him this way. What about you? Rila, you had good genetics. Yes, you were coming over here as well. So we're pretty much getting close to filling up our slots. Right now, Dutaro is our oldest. And we had a couple babies here that I think are ready, or not quite ready. That one's not ready. Um, but I think we decided, yeah, we wanted Isiko here to come. So we'll move her this way. How is this little baby? Roku, okay. I love that name. <laughs> All right. Some good genetics. Not the greatest, though. We may bring him because I want to try and fill this up fast because, as you can see, 
Lace Ray here and Duke Taro here are starting to get older and we don't want to have many old animals if we can. We want them all to be pretty young and pretty strong still if we can. So we want to try and fill that up even if not everybody has perfect genetics. And not the greatest genetics, so let's try breeding again. You, I'm going to move down here so you're not in the way over here. And then we decided, was it Rari? Are they both... She's better because she doesn't have the berry pod. Duke knew we decided we didn't want because he didn't have the greatest genetics. We didn't want him to come with us. Um, and you can have another baby here. And this little one had pretty good genetic, well, decent genetics. So we have one, two, three, four, five slots left. And we have a few more on the way, like a Seiko here is coming. And we have one little one over here who's coming. So we have about three slots left. Um, let's go ahead and start another day. All right. Oh, good. The berry bushes re all regrew. That's excellent. Okay. You can gather. And I will have you gather here. And there's a whole berry bush over there that no one is gathering from. And why don't you come over here and help gather. And you can gather. The more food we can get. We're getting so much food. Okay, how's this little baby? Kaduk Vaughn is pretty good. So he'll probably be coming with us. He may be one of the last to come with us. And did we, we had another carnivore come out of there. Dang it. Um, you should be sitting up here in between where you can grab them. I'm going to have you gather. You can gather. And you can come here and gather. Oops, I didn't mean to gra grab mom. I meant to grab her. but And... Um, not the greatest genetics. Big body, but that's about the only positive trait. And how much collecting does this guy have? Four collecting! That's crazy! Alright, how's this baby? Nunu. Decent, but... Oh, probably not, though, because of the blind eye and the berry paw. And you can collect. And a new little baby here. Rihanna. Um, okay, definitely coming. So I think we have it all pretty much filled up right now. Let's gather these berries. And let's come over here because we had you were going to come with us. So I think on one of these next moves here, we'll be able... And you are here. So the thing is, we don't want these guys to get too old. Um, which I have said before here. So I'm hoping the sooner we can get them over there, the better. Let's, how are you? Lorema, Lorema, yes. Um, pretty good, but uh, too much immunity age. I think we're gonna let some of the others come instead. But we will move you out of the nest here and let you guys have a baby. And you can help collect. And we can't get that bunny because we've already used our moves up. Okay, let's gather these acorns, too, and shake the tree. And you can gather that acorn and this acorn and shake the tree again. Okay. So I heard someone else die. Oh, no, mom is dying. And we are having some problems with carnivores over here. And I'm going to have you hit twice. And we decided you were coming. So you're going to start moving this way. And where is... We brought... You right here, a Seiko, and oops, wanted you to have two blue, and come here, Kirk here, and we'll grab that and come over here. So we have three slots left, and we decided we wanted that baby's on his way, and hey, don't steal our food. I, hey. Um, can this little one, this little one can get the bunny. Oh good, we're gonna have so much food. That's excellent. Alrighty, um, and I think the dad, I think, has died, so we can't breed anymore over here, and we decided you didn't have excellent genetics or anything. Nothing outstanding, just fairly normal. And you had another little baby, Duke Ruduk, 
and pretty good. Blind eyes, but otherwise pretty good. And you, we decided, were coming, Rihanna. Um, so I'm going to move you down here. And I'll let her do some gathering. We can shake the tree again. I'll let you grab some. And you can collect some of the berries. You can collect some of the berries. And so we have one, two more on the way. And we have three slots. How is this little baby? Roku, we decided. Nothing outstanding. But I think to fill this last slot, we're going to bring Roku. So that then will be our tribe. So let's, um, I'm going to get, go one more. One more should get everybody there, I think. Let's finish gathering up these berries. And let's see. Oh, not quite, maybe. Kaduk Vaughn, we're waiting on you. And let's get little Roku up here. Let's get you. Not quite. We have two more babies coming. And that will be our tribe. So these guys are a little older than I would have liked them to be. But it'll be good because we have a lot of young ones who will be ready to grow up then. And now we're just going to kind of go around and make sure we're collecting food from everyone. Having everybody collect food as they prepare to bid farewell to their tribe mates. And we'll hopefully take out this carnivore and get a lot of food from that, too. Um, so I'm going to have you go, and then you... Good, we got the carnivore. You can get these acorns. You can come down here and get these acorns. And you can grab that one and shake the tree again. You can grab that one. Let's shake the tree over here, because all, all these guys will be staying behind. And you can grab that, and I'll let you come down here and grab these acorns. And I'm going to have... We're going to be careful not to leave Rila on the beach here. We bring her back. And you... And then we're going to go one more time. And Rayana here is ready. And can come take her place here. And... Ooh, here, come here. Where are you? There you are. Kaduk Vaughn can come take his place. And this will be the tribe that is ready to go on to the next island. And we have quite a bit of food. We're going to get even more here in this last turn as we kind of say farewell to everyone. All, all of our friends and family on this island, we're going to have to say goodbye. We probably will never see them again. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure the game will remove any creatures that are left behind on an island. So I don't think we'll see any of these guys again. Um, sadly, we have to bid them farewell. And... But they have all been such wonderful creatures, and we've gotten to spend so much time with them. We've gotten to know them a little bit. Even our even our little spits now, Maracy over here, who's actually about to die. Oh, maybe we'll bring her over down here if we can and get her a little closer. So that she can come over, look, and say goodbye to them. She looks like she's waving with that claw paw of hers. And this is our tribe that will be moving on to the next island here. So we have Lace Ray here who has the antlers. She does have a claw paw, which is not the most desirable trait, but it is a good one. She has A and H immunity. We have Kirkir here, who has A and G immunity, has the antlers, has two runner legs, and has a secondary big body. And I think she has the big body. We have Duktaro, who has secondary big body, double antler gene, runner leg, and A and B immunity. We have Roku, who has no, nothing special on the head and the berry paw and one runner leg, but has secondary big body. We have Isiko, who has a big nose but secondary antlers and then big body and has A and B immunity. Oh, and Roko's immunity is also A and B. 
We have Lamayme, who has D and H immunity, double antlers, and just the normal body and two runner legs. Roku also has that berry paw. We have Kudukvan, who has antlers and a big body and runner legs and H and A immunity. And Rila here, who has A and G immunity and antlers and a normal body and runner legs. And I think Rihanna here has the ram horn, big body, runner leg, D and B immunity. This is our tribe. You can see we have them all on these portals here. And oh, one other cool thing is Rila here has the yellow eyes, which is unique. And that actually happened randomly. So I don't know if that I don't know what to think about that or how to explain that. I think, I don't know if that was a glitch or if it was something intended where occasionally a gene that is not active for either of the parents or even recessive for either of the parents because I don't know who her parents were now are now, but neither of her parents had the yellow eye gene. In fact, none of our other animals, I believe, have this yellow eye gene that I know of. I don't see any that do. I don't think any of them do. I don't even think, I, I'm not sure our little, even our little, well, we did have a little blind in this one. Eastley, she doesn't even have it. None of our animals have these this yellow eye gene, so it kind of just happened. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, if that was supposed to happen, but anyway, this right here is our tribe. They're the ones who will be moving on to the next island and starting a new colony elsewhere. They're being bid farewell by the rest of their tribe that's looking on on this little island that the population has kind of grown far too large for. <laughs> These are our bold adventurers who are exploring into the unknown knowing that they will never see their family again, but knowing that for their species to survive, they must go on. So we'll let little Roku here, if, we can, if I can click on him, it doesn't want to let me click on him, lead the way. And I don't know, he doesn't have the greatest genetics, but he kind of, he, he's a little bit special. He, he looks a little special. None of the others look like him. He, he's very different. So I think I'll let him lead the way, and he can maybe be the rising leader in our tribe here. Um, kind of the alpha male, perhaps, as he, he may grow into that role. We'll kind of see. We'll see. He, he just kind of sticks out amidst all the gray and the white and the brown. <laughs> here he is, and he's bright red. <laughs> so, here we go into the unknown, onto a new island. Yes, we know this. And here's our new island. So I see a nest right away, pretty close. Everyone, a couple nests. Everyone spawned here in grass, I guess. And this is what our new island looks like, kind of going over it. So we have several trees, four trees, some swamps, some savanna, and some grassland. You can see there's a nest right over here already. And there may be, no, I don't see one over here. Um, so it looks like it's a pretty good island. Um, we'll have to see what kinds of creatures and such live on it. First thing I'm going to do is, um, explore this grass area. We're going to let Roku kind of step out into the open here, because we determined that he, he seems like an adventurous little one. He's maybe a little bit different than the rest of his tribe mates, but he's kind of a, a little adventurer here. Now, out of our adults, we only have one male, um, Duke Taru here, who has the immunity A and the immunity B, and then our adult females have our Lace Ray here, A and H, Rila, A and G, and Lameme, D and H. And so I think Duke Taru is going to breed with Lameme because they have the most different genes. So she will come over here and the rest of them I think he's going to start coming this way I kind of don't want to send our females up onto the island just yet though I feel like we kind of want to lead the way with the males and if you saw the spotlight I did on the new version you will know why so we're going to leave some of these guys here and I already hear a carnivore dang it 
So we also, a new male just grew up, Kirk here, here. And, oh, we have a berry bush. So we're going to want to get someone on this berry bush pretty quickly. And I see a carnivore coming. So I'm going to bring Isiko kind of over this way. And have her sit in between the carnivore. We're going to bring some of the ones that are stronger and have them kind of sit up here. You can explore that nest. And then Rila can come up this way more. You can explore here. Kind of just move everyone in a little ways this way. And here's Roku. We'll let Roku start collecting some of these berries because he has the berry paw. He's a little different. He's he's special. He has the he's the only one with the berry paw. And I'm sorry, I'm probably too attached to him. And with my track record, he'll probably die a horrible death or something. But he's just so stinking cute. And I I don't know. He's just a little bit different than everyone else. And I think that's the most adorable thing. <laughs> um. So our first baby born on this island, Takirkir, who, well, I shouldn't do that yet. Okay, but probably because he has antlers. He has the immunity H and immunity B, which is different. So I'm going to bring him this way. And who is our male? Jutaru is, um, so I'm going to have her come up here, breed with him, and then come back to the nest. Um, these guys are going to continue to advance and start attacking this carnivore. The ones that have the claws. And we got the carnivore. And he can continue. And then Kaduk Vaughn can come up this way as well. And Kirk here can come up this way and start exploring these. And we do have two nests. Uh-oh, someone's sick. Who's sick? Um, I don't... I didn't... I think someone's sick. No, maybe it's somebody just chirped. Maybe it's the new baby just chirped. Anamere is our second baby. Normal body. Antlers. Okay, and then that's the thing is I'm going to actually leave Dutaru back here. Um, because these two are pretty compatible genetics-wise. And then... We have a couple of other females. We have, well, our females, though, are, have, well, she's not, Rila. So A and G, A and B is Roku, H and A, A and G. So we have A and G here, H and A. So I think we're going to let these guys, um, I think we're going to let... I should have brought her up to... I think we'll, we'll let these guys be made. So, and Roku, you can keep collecting. And we're going to advance with some of our stronger tribe members into the unknown wilderness here. And just start exploring our way in. So there is a cactus here, it looks like. And I'm going to bring this guy back here. Um, to Kier Kier. And this little baby can come over here. Rihanna. Oh, why? why you should be coming up this way. I'm going to breed these guys again. And in fact, um, Kier Kier. A and G. A and G. Wait, who is it who we had? It wasn't Roku. It was, um, oh, we, we brought him back. Okay. Kaduk Vaughn is the new baby. And it has some pretty good genetics. So we've been breeding for the big body because right now the heat resistance and cold resistance don't do anything. However, that might not be the smartest choice as the game continues to develop. So, um, let's keep exploring here. Keep making headway into the island. Roku's going to continue to be our collector for the time being. But we may keep moving him inland as we discover more berry bushes. And you can start to cure cure is old enough to start following his tribe. And we want to try to keep the babies near the adults. And as you can see, all this food we brought with us is really coming in handy. So Anna Mary doesn't have the greatest, so we probably, however, to cure cure. Well, 
actually I'm going to put him back on green because now we have a totally different set of tribe members and what we really want is big body and antlers. So like Vanta here has the big body and antlers so we'll be turning him to this um, the blue color. And we'll breed these guys again and those guys can't yet. So these guys are going to continue forging their way into the unknown. And let's go up here. And we have another berry bush. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably have Roku come up here and be the collector on the way as um, as more we find more berry bushes. And then we'll have some back here can start, like maybe one of the dads can come over and start manning this. And then the mom will be able to... Um, she can come over there to breed. So. And how are the babies? So, let's see. Krakuta. Um, decent genetics, but not the greatest. And oops, dang it. Um, let's move the baby this way. Because she can still come up here. And, oh, I guess her baby isn't old enough to leave the nest, though. I thought... Okay, never mind. These guys are the ones who should be old enough to breed. And you... Anna Mary can keep can start coming this way and Roku can gather and do a little exploring in his immediate area and these guys ha are pretty strong so we're kind of sending them out ahead and let's bring you can explore here and right now what we're just trying to do, and man, look how fast we're going through that food. We got to start finding a reliable source of food pretty soon here. Um, Vanta is, has, is pretty good. We decided he can start coming this way now that he's grown up a bit. And you can come this way. And Krakuta has decent genetics. What about... the? This one, wait, Krakuta, are they both Krakuta? Hold on, I don't think, am I clicking Rila? Nuvanu, there we go. Antlers, do we, are we still mutating? Oh, we should, oh no, we're not, we're not mutating a fur color. Um, he's pretty good, so we're gonna mark him out as one that we want to be breeding and um not the best genetics but still decent and roku you can keep collecting and i think we're gonna wrap it up on here uh, as we begin exploring this new island after this turn here but oh and there's a rustling in the bushes already i wonder what it could be we will have to wait and see and find out next time because we have finally made the journey to a new island. Oh, it's a bunny. But we'll have to see if there's anything more. I'm assuming that was a bunny, but perhaps it was not. But we'll have to see what waits for us here on this new island. I will see you next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.